No touch of the gloves. Don't let it confuse you. Porter wearing blue shorts, but he is in the red. As Doyle goes for a takedown attempt here. Good head position here from Brandon Doyle. What was the campground sponsor? Doyle needs to lower his level and uh, circle. You get that single leg or, or switch to the double. Right. Porter doing a great job of defending. Had the double underhooks. Now he's got the, the body lock. They're going to get out of there. I want to see Chris throw a jab to the body to stop that takedown. Or to, to stop him from going for the takedown. Oh, barely missed that uppercut. Porter the one applying the pressure so far. Doyle is a good counter striker, but Doyle or, or Porter really likes to apply the pressure and lead the dance in fights. And with every th shot that Porter throws, it's just thrown with so much intent. You can see it. The just, speed, the speed of his shots yeah. are incredible. Yeah. yeah. It looks like Brandon's just looking to wait. Good offensive approach by Doyle. I don't know if he's just trying to get comfortable and find the timing or what's going on here. Good leg kick. Nice leg kicks landed by Chris Porter. Doyle looks for the teep there. Chris is uh, doing good with the movement, circling left and right and not standing directly in front of him or going directly back. Yeah. Is he gonna catch him? Missed the head kick slip. Now Porter's on top. See if Porter can make him pay for that. I wanna see Chris take his time here. Well, Doyle's got that leg trap too. His leg, his own leg trap. Well, he's he's trapping it for to try to shoot a triangle. Yep, up. there it is. It's a trap on that bicep. Working him toward the cage now. needs to clear that foot out of his hip, get his hips in a little closer. That way he can posture up or whatever he needs to do to cause damage. Drive the forehead into the chin, inside his face. Yep. Watch out for the elbows. Brandon's doing a good job of controlling that, uh, that right arm. Of yeah, he's got it trapped. Brandon needs to get his foot back in the hip and try to create space so he can get up. That was a big shot landed by Chris. Control the wrist. He has the one overhook, so now he should start working his uh, feet into the hips or try to shoot up a triangle, which he looks like he's trying to do. Not much activity from Porter here on the ground with a minute left in the first round. No. What he is doing that's nice is driving his forehead right into Doyle's face. That's so uncomfortable. I remember kids used to do that to me in wrestling. It's just something you got to deal with. It's like a, it's like a dog biting at your ankles almost. It, it's annoying. <laughs> you can't move. Yep. Which is controlling your posture. So stuck there. If you move, you know. There it is again. He is maintaining the position very well along the yeah, cage, though. absolutely. I mean, when you can't judge it by damage, you go to control, and that's what Porter's done well this round. Yeah, and you didn't really see much damage on the feet to start the round. Porter's in full control here. 
And not to say that Doyle's been bad. However, good defense does not win you. Chris Porter, he went to the mustache. That was a new thing. Kept the, the mustache. And now he's got the, the, the dreads. He's always mixing it up. Yeah, no kidding. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, j -Mar. There's the big shots landed by Chris. Nice leg kick. Already seeing more activity on the feet here from Porter in round number two. Yeah, and like I said, he throws every one of those punches with just intent. Those fates. He's the fates have been really shirt. nice out of Chris Porter. He's got, like, those feints just have Doyle backing up so hard. Reminds me a lot of Israel Adesanya. Doyle needs to just bite down and, and, and go forward. Yeah. I mean, you're getting outpointed, getting outstruck. You need to do something. And the lateral movement out of Chris Porter has just been phenomenal, um, especially this round as well. There's a nice overhand four attempt by Doyle. Those light kicks, nasty by Chris Porter. Nice body shot landed by Porter. Those hurt. And we know Porter has fight ending power in his fists. And just the level changes, the mixes from kicks to punches, the lateral movement. You know, even though it might not be the highest output, Chris Porter is doing everything right on the feet, which is a big hook. Yeah, and he there. hasn't had to, to take too many risks in this fight with Brandon Doyle constantly on the back foot there. Yeah. Even Doyle now, you know, keeping the center of the cage, but Porter circling him. I want to see Chris throw a, a solid jab. Right now he's throwing a jab to set it up, but I think if you throw that solid jab and land, it'll, it'll shock Doyle a little bit. There's the attempt there. Two, two down. That would have been there. There's some of that Chris Porter power. I think Chris is going to stop him with that body shot eventually because he's not defending that at all. Great double like attempt there. Doyle's going to get overhooks. Those uh those left hook shots thrown by Chris have just been, whether it's to the head or to the body, have been his most dangerous strike so far. Doyle needs to get those legs free some type of way, shift to a hip, start trying to swim the legs out. We saw this in the first round with under two minutes left in round number two. Let's see if Porter can advance position and make something out of this on the ground. Good elbows there thrown by Doyle. Doyle again looking for that body triangle. Back in the guard. Very, very reminiscent of what we were seeing in round one right now. Check out um, John McGinnis' right haircut. Chris it's wonderful, pass, isn't it? Pass, uh, <laughs> Brandon doesn't have a tight guard at all. It's just like a relaxed guard. Chris could easily pass to half guard from here. Yeah. I almost want to see him posture up and just rain down some blows here. Maybe throw some ground and pound? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Doyle is holding on for that hook for that uh the overhook for dear life. Yeah. He kept that he kept that right arm trapped last round. He's he's doing it again. It's free now though. That's why I would like to see. Chris pass to the uh, left half guard since uh, Doyle keeps, there it goes. Yeah. And Brandon can hold on all he wants, but it's not winning him these rounds. <laughs> Good knee. You wonder if cardio plays an issue as well going into this uh, second round as well on Doyle's end. I mean, honestly, Doyle didn't look well prepared mm. for this fight coming into it. You know, no Vaseline has one corner. It, it's always a little, 
I don't know. I, I find it a little strange anytime I see a pro with only one corner mm. instead of a whole team, especially coming from a different state. Or yeah, absolutely. Porter just did so again. Chris Porter in the red. Brandon Doyle in the blue. Third and final round of this pro bout. And Doyle's got to make something here. There's that left hook, followed by the cross by Porter. He's so good. And, and, and Doyle's dropping his right hand. So, <laughs> if you know, if Porter could time that right, it might be right there. Well, so when he see what... It was nice. He, he became more aggressive. It didn't land, but that's what, that's what he needs to do is be more aggressive, time it a little better, mince up the speed. Yeah. The problem is all his punches are exact same speed, so it's easier to time. He also doesn't march forward with his strikes. He stands and strikes, and that gives Porter the ability with his length advantage to just kind of make some separation. Yeah. There's that left every, hook again. And every time he throws a big shot, he's telegraphing it. That lead leg comes up every time he throws that big left hook. It's almost like he's afraid of the shots now. So yeah, after know. that nice double like snatch last round, and, and you see Porter, you know, level change, level change, level change, just to just to make him think about the takedown still being there. I would like to see uh, Doyle throw a couple jabs, like quick jabs. Right now he's throwing them too slow, like he's labored and tired. So. This double leg attempt. Porter has got a deep underhook there. He needs to finish it. If he doesn't finish it, it's all right, good. There it is. I was going to say, if he didn't get that finish, I think that would have been a bad night for him out there. But Doyle needs to do something. He's obviously down two rounds. I mean, obviously don't be too uh, impatient, but he definitely needs to be going for that finish. Yeah. Doing a good job of keeping that right arm trapped against the cage is Brandon Doyle. Oh, they're working his way up. Should have there they are. Him. Back on the feet now. I think that body shot's gonna take him out. Yep, yeah, it's there. There's a double leg. And could this be like the other rounds where we see these last couple minutes occupied? by control with Chris Porter. I, I would like to see Chris get a finish here. Yeah. I'd like to see a sense of urgency out of Brandon Doyle, knowing that he might be down two rounds to none here in round number three. Yeah, not really a lot of desperation besides that takedown um, from Doyle. And you wonder if cardio is a play oh, yeah. in that as well. As soon as Chris gets his right hand free, uh, I think it's going to be, be over. Chris is right in front of his corner right now as well. Yeah, somewhere where he hasn't really been on the ground all night. He's controlling the arms, and then now. Oh, he's got his back. Throw the hook in. He's got the boots. Flat and Both of them are in. Are we going to get a rear naked? No, not yet. I think he's just taking his time. The yep. oil needs to break that body lock, get his back to the mat, and try to start working his way up the cage. Yeah, he's trapped. Still plenty of time to do something with either guy in this round. Doyle needs to get out of here, break that body lock right now. He's just too content. I know it's easier said than done, obviously, but. Needs to break the arms loose, also protect his neck while trying to break that body lock. You have to think Porter's comfortable just having the, remain the remainder of the fight here. Yeah. Nice. Nice way to work back up. Yeah. Very nice takedown. Doyle's got to go here. He's got to flip the switch. And he got 
10 seconds left, pretty much. Got to go for heavy ground and pound if he wants to win this fight. 10 seconds. That's going to do it. After three rounds, we go to the general scorecards where we have a split decision. Judge Mark Denbeat scores this contest 29 28. Doyle. Let's go! Judge John Bell scores this contest 30 27. Porter. Yeah. And Judge Kevin Armstrong scores this contest 29 28. For your winner, my split decision. Killer, cut up, Chris.